It's been a while since this series was around, and now the Christmas period is over, we can get back to spotting secrets on the new island, as well as recapping the story of the season so far. If you'd like this series to continue, please drop a like, and here's my code too. So chapter 3 began on December the 4th, making today the start of week 6, only 23 days until your lobbies are filled with the rock. We're going to look at how chapter 1 and chapter 3 are linked, and Io's invasion attempt, but of course we will start with the weather update. Storm season is officially here in Fortnite. For the next seven days, the tornadoes will be common in your Battle Royale game. Then after that, they'll cool down a little bit. From our early tests, two on average form in each match, with the most common one a thunderstorm, which darkens the sky and strikes thunderbolts and lightning at spots on the ground, which are highlighted with this blue warning sign. If you're hit though, don't worry, you lose a little health, but you get a short speed boost too, so it could be used tactically. If you want to get hit every time to maximize that potential, simply sit in bodies of water near the strike zone or scale a mountain and get as high as you can because Thunder likes to hit the first point it can reach, which tends to be the highest areas. And in our tests, it worked 100% of the time. We got hit a lot. In all this frantic tornado action, you may have missed the missions given to us by the scientist. Let's quickly recap that. When we made it over to the new island, many of us noticed the seven rocket silos for the seven. Suddenly one of those opened over Christmas and on Christmas Eve, a huge map update was seen. A rocket appeared at the first silo. This wasn't any rocket though. This is the exact same model as the one spotted jumping through realities in season X. It's also arguably the same rocket we saw locating the zero point all the way back when live events were first being made. So this leads to two questions. Is there more than one single rocket? And wasn't the original rocket in chapter one simply a prop which was converted into a functioning rocket by the visitor? Sadly, the rocket in chapter three went on a space voyage without us. It was off camera. One day it was there, the next it was gone and we were told it was in space. So here is my high tech recreation of the rocket taking off. You're very impressed, aren't you? I can tell. This actually gives us a little more lore. Now we know the island acts like a planet. It has a gravitational pull. It's just a flat version in space. We can now take an educated guess that the rocket from chapter one almost certainly looped around space and came back down at the opposite side of the island. The visitor's mission that day when he crash landed was to find the zero point and escape unnoticed. That's why he's here in chapter three, just hanging out with the boys. Back to the scientist. According to him, the first rocket we sent this season into to space had failed. It was on a reconnaissance mission, maybe looking for another member of the Seven, the Paradigm. So, our first rocket recon mission failed. But you know what they say, when one launch pad door closes, another one opens. And behind that door, there's a bigger rocket with more telescope parts in it, which you will go and source for me, right now. This is very exciting for you. After collecting those telescope and surveillance parts, the scientist goes back to the drawing board and will soon unveil a new rocket, version 2. So here's a question, do you think it will be the exact same design as the last one? Maybe just bigger like the one he made in season X. Hopefully he'll soon find Paradigm so we can get this story going. I also want Paradigm back in the shop because I didn't buy that skin and I regret it to this day. If you own Paradigm, I expect you to be flexing in the comments. So, while we were all getting free gifts over Christmas in our cabin, did you look around this place? It's filled with little buttons giving us small surprises, like a remote controlled car zooming by. If you clicked on the safe in the back of the room, you may have seen a host of Easter eggs, from llamas to gingerbread men. And if you're one of the cool kids, you will literally see Easter eggs at Christmas. How meta is that? Then suddenly, the scientist gave us another mission in week three. Unforeseen rumblings could be felt underfoot. The scientist was unsure if this was due to the island's rotation or something else. It was then revealed, it was definitely something else. Over by the logjam building, a drilling vehicle rose to the ground. The imagined order had dug through from the other side all the way to the new top side. In exactly one month, they made it through. This coincided with Sloane's update in appearance to survive in colder climates. She got a snowsuit and the first drill arrived in the snow. With Io back on the island, things are going to get spicy between the Seven and Io. But wait, this was only one part of the plan. 
During week 5, another IO drill appeared, much lower on the map in the south. A second unit already, with more to come we are told. FN Assist tells us that there are 5 drills in total coming to the island with a designated letter. Omega and Ryder are here, and then there's Dash, Epsilon and Raven to follow shortly. Now take a look at the first letter of each of these. Omega, Rider, Dash, Epsilon and Raven. They spell out ORDER. How cool is that? I know it's a useless easter egg, but it's still pretty awesome. The imagined order has everything in place, because order is everything. Right now the snow is going away, and soon the island will lose its white topping, and we shall soon see what the island really does look like. Which means Tilted Towers will be here in one week. It's thawing right now as we look at it in game. If you're sad like me, you've been watching it for weeks. Looking forward to the day half the lobby is eliminated in the first 60 seconds of every single game you will ever play for the rest of the season. Yay. So that's our update this week. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Here's some legends from my Discord who use my code. And I'll be back in my Twitter DMs tonight to thank all 55 of you who've used my code this week. Thank you kindly. I'm Adam, you're awesome. I'll see you next time.